As you know, in this section, I want to be going over really first keywords, finding keywords that you should be probably then targeting and going forward with for your ads because keywords is really what's going to be able to help you really get people going to either your website or really whatever you're trying to get them to go to. And really being able to find the right keywords is going to be really important in order to really maximize the amount of total click-throughs to your website or really whatever, like I've been saying. And then on top of that too, it can actually really help you save a lot of money as well, making sure that you're finding the right ones. And I want to help you find really figure out how you can go ahead and do that. So right now I'm signed into my account. Yours will not look like this simply because of course you don't have any ads or anything of that sort currently running right now. But don't worry about this right now. Instead what I want you to do is go into tools and what I will want you to do is though go into keyword planner. Now I will say this so in the future you know when you're watching this sometimes Bing does change their style a little bit but what, what won't change is really the main essentials that they have and what I can tell you right now is their keyword planner is going to be an essential for a really long time and probably will not change. So what you'll want to do is either if it, your design looks like this or it looks something like something a little bit different you want to go something over like tools or maybe some kind of like maybe some kind of I don't know resources something whatever it would say and you want to find then the keyword planner now what's great is the keyword planner is hundred percent free and this is what's gonna really help you a lot so once we have this up once really what we're gonna to want to do then is then kind of put in some ideas that we might have so what we're gonna to want to do then is gonna click this one right here so search for new keywords using a phrase website or category so what we're gonna do is click this and this is not always going to look like this, but for now, it's just kind of how it is, so that's fine. So let's just say for an example, maybe I'm trying to target, let's just say, maybe I am a bike store, okay? And I want to target people just for bikes in general. So maybe I would say, maybe, let's say, bikes for sale. Now, in this category or this keyword, I'd actually have to be really careful because we don't want this to kind of get then confused with motorcycles. So that's something to be really aware of as well. So we'll just, for now, we'll just do this. But that's just something to keep in mind too is just make sure you're being really careful with your keywords so that way you can't get confused with really anything else. So I just typed in bikes for sale and now it's going to give me some ideas as far as, you know, what are some keywords that I can then use to then really try to get then people going over to my website or some kind of offer and as you can see here here's some different ideas that it comes up with just based on the idea that i gave bing here and it says bike sale used bike sale cheap bike sale let's see bicycle bicycle sale bike like some of these might sound a little weird but at the same time too if you look if you look at the average monthly searches, this is also important to see how many people are searching this, but arguably even more important too is then the suggested bid itself, meaning this is how much you should approximately expect to pay per click. So as you can see here, these are actually pretty darn good as far as the actual cost itself. Keep in mind that like some like some of the highest end or really the most expensive bids or rather like I guess you can say the cost per click the highest ones I've ever seen is about six hundred dollars per click now don't worry that's actually kind of the niche of being like a lawyer and things of that sort and insurance so chances are you probably aren't in that and even if you are in that there are other ways around that however those are just like the highest ones so it kind of gives you an idea of these are actually really good prices right here so as you can see here, I mean, you can kind of get an idea of, you know, which one's going to be the best here as far as like what, what really matches what I'm trying to do. So maybe if I'm trying to sell, maybe if my shop has a lot of used bikes for sale, well, maybe is there something in here that's going to be good. So maybe it'd be this one right here, used bike, let's see, discount bike sale. So maybe if I'm running a sale, it could be good. Let's see. Here you go, used bike sale, another one that's really similar. But as you can see here, you can kind of mess around with this a little bit too. So maybe instead I'll say bikes for, let's say, bikes for, let's see, uh, let's see, maybe I'll say bikes for adults. Let's just say that. I'm just trying to give you ideas too on what will come up. And this is actually really interesting right here. So please refresh your page. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Just give me a second and then I'll be right back. All right, so that usually doesn't happen, but here we are then. 
as far as I looked up then, you know, bikes for adults, just kind of throwing out some names. You're trying to get some ideas. And as you can see here, you can come up with a lot of different things. So here's something that's really interesting. Adult mountain bike. That's going to be, so that could be a really important one for you. And the best part about this too is that the competition is low, which is great. And also it's costing just 19 cents per click. So that can be really good. So if someone's looking maybe for a mountain bike, an adult is, then that's going to be really good. Now something that I want to mention to you too as well, just give you kind of a quick a couple of ideas too within this video is be really careful with what keywords you're targeting so if you say like bikes for let's just say bikes for kids for an example then you just got to be careful too that you know obviously kids use the internet as well so you know if they're going to look up a, you know they might be looking up a cheap kids bike so that means that a kid possibly could be then t you know clicking onto your ads so what does that mean that means possibly that you know those ads are probably going to go to waste simply because you know it's not the right demographic probably because chances are that that you know that child that kid is not going to then go ahead and buy that it's usually the parents in most cases that are going, going to buy it especially when it comes to online and so just keep that in mind too so if you're trying to target like girl bike or boy bike so keep in mind that you could you know your time taking that little chance that it could be a, a little kid searching that up now that's not always the case of course but just keep that in mind so and it, let's, let me do a completely different topic here as well just kind of give you an example so maybe let's just say I sell electronics hypothetically okay and I have let's say I have different microphones for sale so maybe I want to look I want to have search for this so Really for this, this can completely vary as far as, you know, what the cost per click going to be. And as you can see here, now you might be seeing here over here, like why are some of these blank? So reasoning behind this is usually because for whatever reason, Bing Ads doesn't have enough data behind this. That still means that you can actually, you can still actually then, you know, go forward and then use these as far as like the actual keywords themselves. Now, just because there's no suggested bid here, that does not mean that you'll be able to get the clicks per like one cent. That's not necessarily the case. However, it just doesn't have a good suggested bid as far as, you know, what has been recently happening for that specific keyword. But in addition to, of course, you just kind of get an idea of maybe what approximately that could cost just based on these other ones as well. So this really gives you a lot of great ideas too. And what you'd be wanting to do as well is within this ad copy, you could actually then put this into your ads themselves and that that would be really helpful as far as maybe finding a really the exact person that's looking these up or what you can even do as well is that once per people would then like search up these certain keywords then your ad really whatever you'd want it to say would also pop up as well so i want to just give you kind of a really quick overview as far as you know really where to get started as far as the keywords i'm going to be going more in depth within this section about the keywords and whatnot to really give you really clear on exactly what you need to know but hopefully this starting video is going to be really helpful to you and of course if you have any questions at all during this course please feel free to let me know i'll be more than happy to help thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one